How much water should a dog drink per day? A simple guide. The amount of water a dog needs depends. Pet owners are often astonished when they discover the amount their dog should be drinking. Every dog needs water, but you don't want to overdo it. Keeping a close eye on this is important. With even a slight change, this could indicate an underlying health issue. There are several things to consider when trying to figure this out. You would need to understand what season it is, what they're currently eating, the size of the dog, and the age and activity all play a part in trying to figure this out. Per pound, the average healthy dog requires one half to one ounce of water daily. The amount of water a dog should drink will depend on several factors, now let's take a closer look at what those are. One way to figure this out is to lift some skin on the back of their neck. If the skin snaps right back to how it was, then that's a good indication they're hydrated. Another way to check them is to look at their gums. If they are sticky and dry, you can almost bet that they need water. Check to see if they have moist and slick gums, this would likely mean they are hydrated. It's important that your dog is getting enough water throughout the day. His diet requires a high amount of moisture, and you may be required to coax him into drinking more. There's always a chance of your dog drinking too much water, it's possible, but less likely. You should still keep a close eye and pay attention to prevent any problems from either possibility. How much should your dog be consuming every day, and the amount needed to stay healthy? It's not uncommon for a dog to drink too much, or just as easily not get enough. Having this knot in balance can have an impact on your canine, and this can easily happen to any dog. We all know the effect dehydration can have on the human body, and dogs are no exception to this either. While drinking too much water can cause the dog to become toxic, too little water can cause issues like kidney stones and failure of major organs. Looking for anything abnormal about how much water your dog is consuming could potentially identify an underlying health issue. Metabolic dysfunctions like diabetes or Cushing's disease may cause excessive thirst in dogs, while infections like pancreatitis, parvovirus may cause your dog to not drink as much water. Hypercalcemia, a condition where your dog produces too much calcium. The body will try to flush out the calcium through the kidneys. This will cause your dog to drink excessive amounts of water to manage this, and the continuous buildup can potentially cause kidney failure. Fever, we have all had a fever in the past. You get sick, then your body raises its temperature to fight the underlying infection, and the same is true for your dog. The infection takes its toll on the body and can potentially dehydrate him, which will result in him wanting to drink a large amount of water. Panting may also be a sign. Only a veterinarian can rule out some of the issues like these ones. A guide to know if your dog is dehydrated. Do you remember what was said earlier? You would need to understand what season it is, what they're currently eating, the size of the dog, and the age and activity. If your dog is currently taking some kind of medication, talk to your vet about what the next steps are. A healthy dog on average should drink between one half to one ounce of water per pound, which is the equivalent to a one-fourth to one-half gallon of water consumption daily for a 65-pound dog. What season is it? Most places get warmer during the summer, which will mean your furry friend will need more water during that time of the year. Dehydration can happen quickly during this time of the year, so keep a close eye to prevent this from happening. Did you know? The colder weather can dehydrate your dog too. This can definitely impact your dog's water consumption. You may have your heat turned up in the house, but that's not the only reason. Pay attention to when your dog comes inside on a cold winter day and see if he goes straight to the water bowl. Don't give your dog snow, it can potentially have contaminants in it. What is your dog currently eating? If their diet mainly consists of dry food, then it's likely they would need more than a dog eating moist food. A balance of the two would be ideal to maintain a healthy and happy dog. 
Your dog might prefer one over the other, but it's not recommended, otherwise, this can interfere with the balance of water in their system. More dry food equals more water. If your dog is still growing, then smaller frequent amounts are ideal. Some dogs are more active and will require a little extra fluid compared to others. If you are away from the house, make sure you have some water for him. Always keep some water nearby for him, so he's capable of having some small water breaks when he feels like taking a rest. He needs to stay hydrated. Is your dog much older? Age can be a factor for your canine friend. Your dog may just consider this too big of a task for him. How can you tell if your dog is in need of water? That's easy at the back of the neck you can lift the skin, then all you have to do is let it go. A hydrated dog's skin will quickly fall back into place, and a dehydrated one will fall slowly and crunch itself together. Don't forget you can also check your dog's gums. Feel their gums, sticky or dry gums indicate your pooch needs water, and slick and moist suggests they are okay. Drinking too much water is known as psychogenic polydipsia, but can be caused by a number of other health issues. Other symptoms of psychogenic polydipsia can be increased urination and urination accidents in the house. If you notice anything abnormal, call your veterinarian to find out if everything is okay. It can also be from being stressed, bored, or just loves drinking water. This could also be a ploy for attention and a strategy he feels meets his needs. The more water your dog drinks, the more you will have to take him outside. Symptoms to look for. Bloating. Nausea. Dilated pupils. Pale gums. Excessive salivation. Staggering. Lethargy. Vomiting. Loss of coordination. If your dog is bored, then give him some attention. Some exercise might be all he needs or a game that is mentally stimulating. Growing dogs are more active, which means they will need more fluids to keep them hydrated. Dogs that drink too much or not enough. Does your dog like to overdo it when it comes to the good stuff? Some do, which can cause unexpected health issues. When they drink too much water it's called hyponatremia. The result of this can be a reduced level of sodium in the blood. Dogs that spend a lot of time in water are prone to this, sometimes even unintentionally. You should educate yourself on the signs of water intoxication. For your dog that doesn't like to drink a lot of water, praise your stubborn friend. They are quick learners and will begin to make the association with your behavior. You can also place water close to where they spend most of their day. Always give your dog fresh water. Nobody likes drinking stale or dirty water, and neither does your dog. Consider adding something flavorful to the bowl to entice your stubborn friend. You can also make adjustments to your dog's food to help make up for the lack of water. Try adding an ice cube to his water bowl. Is the water not cold enough? Some dogs prefer to have colder water and don't care for the warmer water that has been sitting around. Some dogs can be so picky. Can your dog be in pain? Maybe your dog is dealing with pain issues. Your aging friend may be dealing with arthritic issues. If you notice your dog seems to struggle when trying to lower its head to drink, this may indicate that he has back or neck pain. It's also possible that your dog may have some oral issues. Inspect his teeth and gums for any unusual signs. Does your dog have stomach issues? This is a little more difficult to determine, and it would be recommended to contact your local veterinarian to make a proper assessment. What type of dog bowl do I need? Picking the right bowl. I would suggest staying away from plastic bowls which have the potential to pick up bacteria. We do have a few other options. You can get a food quality glazed, lead-free ceramic bowl, or a stainless steel bowl. Both can usually be found with or without designs, so choose according to preference. Make sure you buy an appropriate size for him, 
so he can have water throughout the day without waiting for you to refill it. Leave a water bowl inside and out for your dog, this will allow him to stay out longer if he wishes, otherwise, he may start scratching at the screen. A bowl outside will also help him stay hydrated. If your dog likes to knock his bowl around, then you might consider getting one with a little more weight in it. It's essential that these water bowls stay clean to keep him healthy and prevent him from being exposed to any contaminants. Did you change my bowl? Your dog might have grown fond of the old bowl he had. They tend to get attached and form associations. Maybe the new bowl is fine, but you didn't clean it well enough. Any residual cleaner left on the bowl after cleaning would leave an awful taste when you refill it for him. Yuck! Picking the best water for him to drink. It's said that drinking tap water is safe, but most of us have concerns when it comes to this. We know that chlorine is in the water, and that is apparent soon as you bring it anywhere close to your nose. And the taste of it isn't something you would recommend to someone. Dog water tends to sit around for a while, so most of the chlorine ends up evaporating. This might make the water most palatable for your pooch, but still not the best choice. If I had your pick, then I would suggest giving your dog filtered water. Avoid bottled water, it's too expensive, potentially has contaminants, and it's bad for the environment. Conclusion This is much easier than it looks, and your dog will benefit from your understanding for years to come. With proper care, your best friend can expect to have a long, happy, and healthy life. After reading this, you should now have a better idea of how much water should a dog drink per day. You can find more great topics at everythingbigdogs.com and thank you for watching this channel.